Hi, I'm gonna show you how to massage with a rumble roller all by yourself for whole body. Um, drink some hot tea or hot coffee to make your inner temperature up. So when your body is warmer, uh, it'll take it better um, without injury. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. I like to start on the glute, on your bum, sit on it, right cheek, right foot on top of your left leg, and you want to find the spot it hurts. When you found it, you can just sit, breathe out, about 10 seconds, and then move on to the other side. Other spot you want to find it. There you go. Keep look for it, and there is a near uh, hip joint, and um, that uh, that where leg start. We use that joint a lot, and around the ligament and a muscle. Yep, roll it. Excellent. I'm gonna move fairly fast, and let's go for a left kick. Breathe out. Don't hold it. If you're doing this in the morning, your body's cold, uh, you just walk around, clean up the mess, and I make your body a little bit warm. Oh, here you go. I found the good, good one here. I'm going to sit on it here. Just breathe. Alrighty. Excellent. Move on to quadriceps. Put it right on top of your knee. Knees. I like to start with the one side. Put your left leg on top of right leg. Slowly roll it. From knee on above your knee, close to a hip joint, okay? Oh. About three or four, five, that's good. And then move on to other leg. Stack up right leg on top of your left leg. Looks like my head keeps disappearing behind the couch. Excellent. Let's go for a IT. I'm going to start with the left side. It hurts. I'm warning you. It hurts. So uh, if stacking up is too much, you can just put top leg on in front of you. I'm going to roll it this way. I can handle the pain. I'm used to it. So I'm going to stacking up. If there's a really sore spot, it hurts more than you can bear, you just go around it uh, above or below. And I just keep it going, breathe out. Going to the other side. All right. Whee. If that's too much, don't forget to put your top leg in front of you. Oh, that feels so good. I'm going to hamstrings. I'm going to start with uh, uh, where the sciatic nerves is, uh, with uh, the crease between the bum cheek and your behind your leg, hamstrings. Okay. Open your toes and slide it back and forth and going big rolls. I like to stick up. This is the thicker pipe fiber, hard to touch. Move to other side.
All right, here's a good one. Calves. We work a lot, these tiny little muscles, not taking care of much. I like to stick out. If that's too much, you can just put your both leg, but I like to stick out. Okay? Oh, that's good. Start with Achilles and going all for it. Switch the leg. I'm gonna take my time right over there on the big calf muscle. Ah. All right. There's another good one. Chin. I'm gonna sit on my ankle and on my foot start. My legs stack up. Hands really close to my foam roller. I'm slowly moving. Back. There you go. It hurts, but feels so good. Oh, ouch. It's so sensitive with some part, it takes your breath away. And move to the other side. Again, right? Between your top of your foot, ankle, and when, where the shin start. Excellent. Isn't it excellent feeling? Oh boy, boy. Today my shins are not that bad. Very nice. And let's move on to upper body. I like to start side of the, your shoulder, the middle deltoid. Lie down on it. If you can bring your bum up, give yourself a little more pressure on the shoulder. If that's too much, that's okay. I like to find the spot and just lying on it. But if you like, you can roll it too. And my body is going forward to work on the front of the shoulder. Ah, uh, breathe. Ouch. I'm gonna roll it a little bit. If you like, you could do two. Ay, ay, ay. Excellent. And behind, post the deltoid, deltoid. This one doesn't hurt much. It just feels so good. All right. And going, your arms are going over foam roller you are going to lie down on your armpit. So this is where your pushing muscle works, okay? So lying on it, your body's looking down on the floor, your weight is on the foam roller. Slowly lift your eyes to the wall and ceiling and going down slowly. Take your time, take your time. Again, Whee! and down again. It hurts so much today. I'm going one more for luck. There you go, Yaparu. Oh, okay, still same arm. You want to lie down on your close to. Uh, pull your foam molar really close to your shoulder and neck. You want to lie down sideways, feet on the ground, knees on the, uh, looking at the ceiling, but your body is facing side. Head 
relax. Lift your hips up. Don't do anything. Just stay there. Breathe. And slowly, carefully lo lower your body. And look at the wall. Look at the ceiling. Look at the wall. Look at the ceiling. That's enough for neck. And going your arms. Let's work on your forearms. Okay? There you go. Wee hee. Inside the triceps. Right inside the tri uh, triceps. There you go. Elbows. And you're going to make a fist and a move sideways this way. Or you can roll. Move, use your head. If that is not enough pressure, and move up to a little bit, close to your shoulder. Ouch. There you go. Too much tricep kickback. Ay, ay, ay. And going to close to your body and in front of your um your forearm and you're gonna actually sit on it or lie on it it's hard to get this one but you want to make it happen there you go ready ouch kind of unclear so i'm gonna use the other arm forearm put it on the foam roller if you can bear it you can just press your weight slightly. That's all. And move to other side. Almost there. Side of shoulders. Find the spot. Roll it. Breathe. Ah. Move your body forward so your front of shoulders getting some pressure. There you go. Whoa! And going behind the shoulder. You can do a little better for this one. It's because this one doesn't hurt much. But it feels good. Excellent. And going over. So you want to roll the, your armpit. Put your weight on it. Look down on the floor. Ooh. Find the spot and look at the wall. Look at the ceiling. Again, going down. And look up. Excellent. Should you go for triceps? Right inside of your elbow joint. Make a fist. Going this way. Just, yep. There you go. If you can, going over. Close to um, shoulder. In between elbows and shoulder. If not enough weight, use your head. Press down a little bit. Excellent. And let's go for a Forearm. His poor forearm works a lot. Overuse the forearm causes tennis elbow as well. So you want to 